Oh my gosh. I'm going back to work. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I posted my last video. You can hear the anxiety in my voice. But yesterday, December 9th, 2020, what a year, I got a call from Disney that I am being called back to work for attractions. And today's the 10th of December. And I could be starting back at work in as little as four days. Currently waiting for a call from Disney to let me know if they need me to start early and I don't have a choice whether I'm starting early on the 14th, which is my best friend, my mother's 65th birthday, and I don't want to miss it. Or if I'm able to start on my effective date, which is December 20th. But I am distracting myself by wrapping some Christmas presents. I'm feeling super duper anxious today. So let's do the day together, shall we? This will be fun. God. I have the presents for my cousins here. Am I starting work in four days or like 10? I also have some Starbucks mugs that I'm giving my cousins. So watch me wrap them. It is much, much later. It has been quite a day full of stress and anxiety and quite frankly, panic because as of now, I don't know a clock. I still don't have an answer from Disney. I'm kind of freaking out, but I'm okay now. <laughs> this transition that you're gonna see is just gonna be me cleaning up my room and making it nice to live in again for maybe only one day because maybe I'm leaving in two days to start in Disney and four and it's fine, whatever, it's fine. Ta-da, we are complete with our laundry folding, bed making, aesthetic, an exciting time because I'm going, anywho, I'm gonna continue kind of packing up my life and setting aside stuff that I might need to ship to myself and I feel overwhelmed right now, so. Take a deep breath with me, ready? I feel better already. I got a tattoo today. It says everything will be freaking okay. It's a temporary tattoo that I bought like probably four months ago. And the fact that it did not come out perfectly is just a testament to that fact. So maybe it was designed in a way that would make you go, ah. but then if you bought this, then like you believe the sentiment that everything will be okay. Hello everyone. Wait, I'm not looking at the camera. I'm looking at this spot of goop on my phone. Today is December 11th and I started out the day by calling um, Hollywood Studios' scheduling people and I'm not on the schedule through the 19th so it looks like I'm in the clear. Thank you sweet baby Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Right now I am going to go meet my cousins Julian and Emily. They're only like a couple years younger than I. I'm the older cousin of us four and I have their presents right here. I had a lot of fun wrapping them yesterday, but I'm gonna go and say goodbye to them and give them their Christmas presents. Hello, these Hello. are my cousins. Hello. Actually, let me go get my tripod so we can open presents together. Is that okay? <laughs> okay. So I open mine too, you know? Yeah. Oh, cute. I feel like I can finally exhale knowing when I'm going back. I'll fly into Orlando on the 15th of December and I will start work back at Disney 
on December 20th in Disney's Hollywood Studios as part of the Studios Theater District West, which includes Frozen and Parade Audience Control, also called PAC for short. We love acronyms at Disney. And hopefully eventually the Runaway Railway, Mickey's Runaway Railway, the new attraction there. Oh yeah, I have hearts on my sweatshirt and it's so cute. And this is my mom's necklace. It has a little nativity scene in it. Shout out Kathy, love her. As of today, December 11th, it's been 200 in 70 days since my last shift that I worked at Disney. I'm excited to get back to Florida. I miss being a cast member. I was nervous filming yesterday and I wanted to be transparent about how mind blowing and like how nerve wracking it was hearing from Disney. But uh, thanks for watching this mumbo jumbo. Oh my gosh, I'm going back. I have been running around like a chicken without its head. I don't know if that's the right phrase.